Right, it's Monday morning and I'm whispering because it's half past five. I'm off to West Dean to teach all about designing cut flower patches today. So I've got lots of things to pack in the car and I plan to have left here by six. Follow me along and see if you enjoy. The reason I get up so early is I take time to wake up <laughs> and I want to have coffee. So I could fall out of bed at five to six and drive off. But actually, I think it's safer for the world if I fall out of bed at five o'clock and have a cup of coffee and empty the dishwasher and just kind of slowly wind myself up. I'm wearing my pearls because it's... Westine is a very smart venue, so I'm wearing my pearls to look smart. And I'm also feeling kind of... They're sort of... <laughs> Some may, may sound absolutely ridiculous, but... um. I'm thinking about the Queen a lot. The Queen always wore her pearls. Mine aren't quite so spangly, but um, they'll do. They're nice and warm. Anyway, I'm wittering. Uh, do subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up. And if any of the tips and tricks I give you along the way are helpful, please buy me a coffee. The link to buying coffees is in the blurbs to all my clips. What useful tips and tricks can I give you today? Well... If you are invited to go and give a talk or a demo or something, what do you need to take? What uh, What's useful? And um, what do you need to think about when people invite you? It's not just the talk. It is the fact that I've got to drive a horrible journey. West Dean is a really nasty journey. But the reason I go, of course, is it's West Dean. So it's a great name. It's a, it's a nice calling card on my CV, if you like. Anyway, better pack the car and stop wittering. <laughs> Come on. Still dark out, and that lovely harvest moon hangs gently in the sky. I love it. I love the moon. Right, I hope I've got everything I need. I've got flowers for demonstrating with. Compost. The birds are waking up. Stepladder, <laughs> because that's how I draw on a board. I have a board that I put on my stepladder. We're as lo-fi doing demos and talking as we are on the YouTube, I can tell you. And then there's the board for putting on the stepladder and writing on. And in here we have a tray, some snips. I have to check all these things. Yep, I've got my snips. Higgledy garden seeds. Never go anywhere without higgledy garden seeds. And I've got pens. I've got raffia. Must have raffia. Okay, I think I'm done. And the um, Google Maps says that it will take two hours to get to where I'm going. But I have been there before. And it has taken me up to four hours, which is why we're setting off so early. Because if I set off at six and it takes four hours, I'll be there just in time to do the workshop. If it only takes two, I'll have time for breakfast when I get there. Mm. Mm. I always have to have two big cups of Rachel Petter Smith coffee before I go anywhere. And then I feel... As if I could take on the world. Right, I wouldn't call the sun up, but I'll flip round and you'll see. I think we can safely say it's time to go. And we're off by Winchester because I don't trust the South Coast Road. The village sleeps, but I do like being up quite early in the morning. I'll pay for it later, I'll be exhausted, but now I'm happy. So here I am, it is quarter past eight, so it only took me 15 minutes more than the map said. Um, it's the most beautiful place, West Dean. It's a big old house set in gorgeous parkland and it's 
run by the Edward James Foundation, which is a teaching foundation. And the house is dedicated to providing a venue for the teaching of all kinds of arts, crafts and skills. It's, it's, a really, it's a really important place, I think, because not all of those arts, crafts and skills are taught in other institutions. It's a place where all kinds of good things can be learned. And I'm here to teach how to grow a cut flower patch today. It's, that's a beautiful house, isn't it? Imagine once upon a time, this was a private house, quite the place. So uh, what they've done is they've got the big house, which is full of studios, but they've also converted all the farm buildings. And I'm in the old dairy today. It's such a good way to use big old houses. Houses need to earn a living. And this is a great way to um, use the space. Here's my studio for today. And the tables were all in straight lines with people facing me and I hate that. So I have rearranged it so that everybody sits in a circle and we can pass material around so they can all talk to each other. Um, I think it's such a big deal that communication at days like this, people learn because of the, the more, in, more engaged they are with the process, the more they'll remember. Here are the flowers that I've cut and I've cut not just what was nice in the garden last evening, but everything gives me an opportunity to talk about why I've cut it, what it's there for, whether it's easy or difficult to grow. Look at that one zinnia down there. Um, and the balance that I'll put in the bouquet and so on. So it's attractive to look at, but also hopefully I can use it very much as an educational tool. I do love these very beautiful old flint work walls here. Very different from traditional Somerset. We are now in Sussex near Chichester. Battle of Hastings country. So there we are already. My students are going to be brought down for me by um, a helper, which is very nice. So I've got time to go make myself a cup of coffee and sort of uh, decontract a little bit after the journey. It is so worth giving yourself extra time because you never know when you turn up at a place what it's going to look like, whether the room's going to be laid out how you like it, what you're going to have to suddenly do before the session starts. And so give yourself masses of time so that you can achieve the look that you're happy to work with and a layout that will work for you. Make sure you know all the details about where the loos are and the fire escapes and all of those things. The schedule of the day, like they give them lunch here today and there's coffee and tea and I know where everything is and I know how to get there and I know how to work it. So all of those things, I've got plenty of time now. I've got a good half hour before my students start turning up. So I can relax, take a deep breath, remember what it is I'm teaching, get my brain together, and then hopefully we'll have a lovely day. Here's the college. There's the main house that you saw earlier. And we are over here in the old dairy. And this is where we can have our cups of coffee. And then we'll go back to the grand house for lunch. Be nice, it's a lovely day. I have to say, I really recommend Westine as a place to look at if you're looking for all kinds of courses from degree level to short day courses like this one. So much to learn. And of course, the seeds I brought with me to sow today are from Higgledy Garden, my friend Benjamin. And the compost I'm going to be sowing into is silver grow peat free obviously always peat free that's better i found the lights they'll be able to see what i'm doing <gasps> and i had time to go and get myself a coffee 
but I'm also going to make sure I have a good drink of water before I start because when you're projecting to a space like this and I have 20 students today who need to be able to hear me and be kept up with what I'm saying if you have a dry throat <laughs> You spend the morning coughing and it's most off-putting for everybody, not least yourself, when you're trying to keep your train of thought going. So there you are, a few top tips if you're ever invited to go and give a talk about what you do. I really recommend giving talks and demos and possibly workshops, whatever your small business might be, because the process of teaching other people to do what you do means that you really think about what you do and you take great interest in the processes of your own business, which means that you're better at it, your own business, thanks to being able to teach other people to do similar work. It's really, it's a really interesting process. I'm sure that I'm a, better, a much better flower farmer and a much better florist because I've had to examine all my processes in order to be able to teach them to other people. So one, it's money and I'm never going to turn down money. Two, it really focuses my mind on what I do and how I do it so that I can share information with other people. And three, it really takes me out of my comfort zone. You know, I teach at home a lot, I teach at the farm, I teach online a lot, but it's good for me to have to get in the car and drive somewhere new and see how other people do it, see how other systems work. Be inspired, maybe. Anyway, if you have space or are invited to teach elsewhere, I recommend it. Um, it's very good for you. <laughs> have a good day, everybody, and I'll show you what I've made later. So this is the bouquet I made for the demo and it came out really nicely and I've given it to one of the students to take home because it's going to be her birthday and of all the nice birthday presents you could have I'd say a few of these aliens were high on the list. Right, all done. Half past three after a five o'clock start. Just three Carolina Wagamans left to take home. Everything tucked in the back of the car. I never needed the ladder, but it's important to bring it in case there hadn't been a stand with a flip chart. So I used their stand and the flip chart. And my ladder's going home with me. I hope you've enjoyed this clip. Do teach workshops if you can, because it makes you think really hard about what you do and it'll help your business. Thanks very much for watching. Do subscribe to the channel press the bell icon and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming out and if any of the tips and tricks along the way have been useful please you can always buy me a coffee the link for coffee buying is in the blurb to all my clips right back in the car two and a half hours i'll be home by six